All right, Scotty. So tell me about this park. Uh, Winter uh, Green Park's been here for, for uh, probably 80 years. Um, it took probably three to four hundred million years to make it look like that. As you can tell, oh, or as Johnny filmed the level layers of shale, um, there's probably six, eight hundred layers of shale. And in the shale is uh, all kinds of uh, fossils. People come from thousands of miles away to study uh, the uh, trilobites and the other uh, small microorganisms in the shale, fossils. Um, people love it here. It's a, it's a natural wonder. It's one of the most beautiful places in New York State, which no one knows about, thank goodness. <laughs> and, uh, and it's called Winter Green Park. Winter Green Park, Canada Harry. And I've spent hundreds, if not a thousand days on this little creek. It's the Kanjahari Creek. And this is above the falls? This is uh, about a mile above the falls. Okay. It's cool. Hey. Well, kick your ass, man. Alright, <laughs> you can do that. You're right. Hello, beautiful people. Hello. Can you make it on a bike? Oh, uh, let me, let me, go easy. Let me talk. <laughs> Stop. Oh, that car. It's fine. What do you mean? Can you make it on a bike? Yeah. yeah. Go down, up here. No problemo. This is one of the most beautiful places in the world. It's beautiful. It's worth it. Just go easy down the hill. Go slow. You're fine. Come on, Johnny. Come on, Johnny. That's nothing compared to Okay. Yeah, you really, really, you know what? You push people. That's why. I'm not pushing any people. I'm, pretty, I'm creating material. You should talk now in my video right now. I'm just trying to get material. It takes effort. Right? Okay. Well, it's going to be some interesting material. No. No, I'm, no I'm, I'm not anything. I'm just picking some material. Look, I'm filming. Can you stop? No, I'm not going to stop. I don't want to see I'm not sure you're going to waste my life filming material. You're not wasting it. We're filming driving up the hill talking about it. Gee, just Hello stop. There. All right? I know. Why are we talking about it? I don't know. I don't know what I'm Give me the camera. You hold this. Okay. 
can have it. He'll move it slowly. I got very it. Very slowly. Very steadily and slowly. Very slowly. Very slowly. This is the, about 500 feet above the basin of the Kanjahari Creek. And you can see if you fell off here, you would instantly die, as in death. So you have to be really careful at this point. I'm behind the fence. But it is magnificent. The fetch across from here to the other side of the valley is half a mile. So this is actually a mini Grand Canyon that we're looking at right now. And yes, it took, I'm guessing, between three and five hundred million years to make this happen. And the shale is perfect because it's slated shale, so the rocks break it apart. Kind of like brick, big bricks. So when the big rocks come down, they break off another layer of, layer of shale and they produce Kind of, it's kind of like a knife cutting through the earth effect. But uh, yes, it's, this is one place in the world that most people know, don't know about, and that's a good thing. And uh, thank God for America because we have so many beautiful things like this to see. Amen, brother. Oh. How was that? Great. Well, you can't actually get that footage from behind the fence. one of the uh, tributaries of the Mohawk River. You can see in the background, that's Palatine Bridge with the big uh, water tower in the back. That's across the river, the Mohawk River. And again, it's taken a long time for this beautiful paradise to uh, come about. Very few people have ever been here. I grew up here, swimming in every inch of this lake, or excuse me, uh, river, stream, creek. But uh, when this roars, when it rains here, this is a roaring river, not a creek. Incredible. So All right. I, I guarantee so I'll lead the way. Let's walk. The, la the, the last, are you still on? on yeah, I'm, ro I'm rolling now. So. Okay. The last ice age probably took... Uh, Probably took it down another hundred feet. Look at that. Drop. Because shit. Now you gotta understand. Yeah, you gotta understand. Shale is very. Uh, uh, it, it chips away easily. So yeah. when the ice age, the last ice age melted, it just it, carved it up like it crazy. carved it out like a knife, and it probably dropped yeah, the, the layer of shale at least ten to twenty feet. Yeah. Probably within uh, several days. Because when, when the stream's running like this, the shale, the, the, uh, the shale goes nowhere. It, it does not... Well, Watch your step. <laughs> yeah, no, I get it. It, it doesn't, it doesn't um, get, get cut down. The only time it makes the cuts is when there's huge events in weather. And in rainstorms. That moves the massive boulders that chip away the, sh the shale. And that's what cuts through this. All right, cool. Yeah. Oh, place. Uh, Johnny, it's so weird because that thing couldn't go down in a hundred, three hundred, five hundred years. Well, I don't know what it did, but it's really and amazing. And then in one day, it'd be chipped away. 
That shell could be chipped away a hundred feet. Well, yeah. Yeah, if, if they're so massive knows how boulders. Well, anyway, I don't, I don't, yeah, we don't have to guess on what it is. It's just beautiful. I want to take it in. Well, I'm telling you how it was made of yeah. I know, well, I mean, that's part of the history of it. Yeah, I understand. Incredible geology. There's Incredible. a small gully. This is a fresh gully, so it's probably only a thousand years old. That leads right off the cliff. <laughs> Anywhere off this trail is a deadly drop. Unbelievable. Yeah, that's a long way. The pitch off the trail here is about 70 degrees. Oh, more than that even. No. Oh. Well, far enough to fall. That's you know, steep enough here. Yeah. The trail we're actually walking on follows the uh, direct pitch of the water. Again, we're about roughly 500 vertical feet above the basin. So yes, if you come here, leash your dogs and leash your children. Yeah, I'd say. Watch your step. What are you doing? Trying to knock the tree down? <laughs> I might. I could. Now oh, you yeah. guys went all the way down this path before. Oh, oh people on, online, if you want to build a fire, this is an old elm tree. Available. And that is available to burn. Where are you going, Scotty? Come on. Be crazy, man. I'll, I'll guide you. Be careful. All right, come on. I'm not going any further than here. All right, give me that. Wait, just let me film it. Give me it that. Over. Give me, give let me. Just film it a little first. All right. Trust me, trust me. Okay. Just move it steady. You're pointing it at yourself now. I know that. Johnny's a little paranoid. Okay, now we're going to uh, a place that's a little dangerous. Yeah. But that's the bridge that goes across the path to the main overlook. And as you can see, this gully probably took two ice ages to make. It's probably... 40, 50,000 years old. And you can see the total cut of it. And then above it you can see um, the basin. I'm not going to go any further because Johnny will puke if I do. Okay, point it 
down the hill. But if, um, yes, if you fell off here, you would definitely have a hospital ride. Again, we're probably, at this point, about 450 feet off the basin. Um, you, could, you, could, you could easily climb down there if you're, uh, if you're athletic. I don't recommend it for the weak and weary. Going back up. It's done. It's, I have, uh, I've only taken a 12 minute video. I got, I got enough room for over an hour. And battery too. This creek here, uh, actually it's a, just a stream bed. The only reason why this cut is here is because there is a natural uh, mountain spring at the top. So it always, I've never been here over 46 years of my life. I've never seen this not running. So there's a natural outflow of water. That's why I made the cut in, in, into the uh, creek. Sometimes it roars through here, but the bridge has never been taken out. So this is the but you should come here, come in with the shot. Here's your shot right here. Look. Go across this way. This is the deepest cut going into the creek. Okay, let's go on. This probably this probably took about three hundred thousand years from now. Well, I don't know. I wasn't here counting the time, but well, it's beautiful. I do know, because I know how long it is. See, it's all shale. All right, well, whatever. Well, right? the shale. It yeah, I know, shale. Thousands of, yeah, all right, well, of thousands of okay, years. Okay, we got it. Well, I'm trying to explain what the fuck's happening. Okay, this is a family show. Yeah, <laughs> Now the drop down here, if I fell right now, it's only about 50 feet, so I wouldn't die. Oh, you might. <laughs> I wouldn't. But uh, the trees would stop me from cascading into the valley. But again, uh, this is one point where they might want to think about a fence, because if a kid or a dog fell off here, they would die. That's crazy, the way it drops off there. But having grow, growing up here and been, uh, been, been here maybe 50 times in my life, there's no danger for me because I'm not worried about it. Oh, because you're not worried? I'm not, I'm not stupid enough to fall off. Oh, okay. Well, well anyway, let's uh, move on to the next spot. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> right, if you fall off the cliff, who's at fault, the cliff or you? You. <laughs> No. Oh, yes, Because yes. <laughs> the cliff's just there, being a cliff. Right, it's like the bus hitting in the middle of the road. <laughs> a lot of Democrats oh. think if you fall off a cliff, you should sue a Republican, by the way. I don't know what they think. Those fucking idiots. I don't, I don't know if they think. No, they don't. <laughs> and they're the same assholes that say you can't... All right, all right, all right, Carl. All right, all right, all right. Okay. We're just doing a nature walk here. Yeah. They're the guys who say you can't go in the water. Yeah, well, they... Because <laughs> they're so f afraid of getting sued by their Democratic lawyer fucking bitch friends. How's that? All right, for all right, okay, all right, that's good. Thank Sorry you. Sorry about that.
So now we got the politics. It, no, no, it hates when the truth spits its ugly fucking head out. It's, it's oh, people hate the truth. There's no doubt about that. <laughs> and also, all the cageary assholes that see this, <laughs> that fucking say you can't swim here, I'm after you too. In 3D, Scotty's telling you off. <laughs> Supreme Court, bitch. That's why they made it. You fucking weak fuckers. Do they have a law that you're not allowed to jump off the cliff either? This is a good <laughs> shot down here, bitch. Oh, yeah. man. Here, give me that. Wait, wait, wait. Let me raise. Just give me the damn thing. I want to give you a better. Capability. Not gonna fall off the I just gotta raise it up a little so that it'll reach farther. It's it changes its. I know, but don't change. Well, the, just give me the video. So hold it from the bottom and from this. Yeah, I got it. Fuck off. Right. So let's see if you can extend it up higher and get a better view without having to move yourself. Okay, now we're traversing down to a very dangerous don't go, spot. Don't go any farther. No, please. Oh! Now we can actually see down, we can see down the crevasse. This is actually not that dangerous, you. You would probably die, but you, it's a good shot right there, you see it down there? I'm trying to raise it up so you can see it. And you can see the uh, the fetch across the basin here is approximately, I'd say, a thousand meters, three thousand feet. But well, you can see it. Johnny's a little bit afraid because he's a scaredy cat. But uh, no, it's really nice, and you can see a lot here. You gotta edit this shit too. Uh, no way I'm gonna edit, it's crazy. <laughs> There's the train down there on the Erie Canal, right? Actually, that's on the other side of the river. Is it the Mohawk River or the Erie Canal? No, well, <laughs> It's the same thing, right? No, it isn't. No? <laughs> no. Because the Mohawk River is 200 feet wide, the Erie Canal is 8 feet wide. It just used, the Erie Canal used the, the water from the Mohawk River okay. to become the first superhighway in the world. I know. And cool. that, that actually started to the west of Albany. And then uh, it would use the water running from the Great Lakes to fill up the canal at the locks. And I think there was about, I'm guessing here, maybe 150 locks to keep a canal full of three feet of water, about eight to nine feet wide. But a mule with a boy could pull a hundred tons on that canal by themselves. And that's what made America great. It started uh, the whole industrial American renaissance. Yes, water from the, from the Kanjiri Creek, which comes from natural springs and rainwater. Actually, much of this water ended up in, in the Erie Canal. The reason why they made the Erie Canal is because they, they didn't have the technology they do today to make the Mohawk River nav 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 navigable. Navigable, yes. That's a big word for me. Right yeah. Like can, that. It's a right. They didn't have that technology, so it was easier to build a little channel that could 
basically it ripped off water off the Mohawk Valley, uh, off the Mohawk River, to supply the canal with water to keep it full to keep transportation going both ways. Right. A water tower. No, actually, this is not a. This is a tampon for. No, it's not. Come on, this is this is, this is a family show. Dude. This is King Kong. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, this is. No, no, seriously, my friends, this <laughs> is a tampon used to to clean out Mrs. King Kong. You, 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 I swear to God, you're ruining my video. Sorry about that, folks. It's but, for you kitties, know. you know. It's not. Sorry. It's nothing to do with. This is a water tower. Now remember, people, whatever you do, stay away from the edge and never climb down the sides of the gorge, which I have done 200 times without any, without a cut or a slice of my skin. But never do that because the state wants you to never enjoy that. So don't do it. Yeah. Well, we went past a whole bunch of dangerous things before we saw the sign. <laughs> but I guess this is the official part. Well, this is where people start to die here in the last 300 years. So it's kind of a dangerous place. Now we're here. We're at the Kanjahari Gorge, or commonly referred to as the Kanjahari Falls. From all of, all our little guests from Fort Plain, Johnstown, Gloversville, Amsterdam, Fort Plain again. Um, the reason why you die here is because you're the stupidest bastards in the world, and you should really talk to someone like me, a native, that has jumped off this falls at least. 500 times in my life and well you should never do it when it's running like that because you will be swept away and killed but yes and if you in any any stupid bastard seeing this dumb enough to jump off here without a native with them can you point at me this is important any stupid idiot that sees this video if you're dumb enough to jump off here without needing a native, jump right in the middle, measure it. Don't go off, especially the right side because it's about six feet deep and you will die jumping or diving into that side. But you have to go right to the middle of the falls and jump far away, jump outwards, and you will survive. But if you do anything else, you will die.
Got to make sure these are straight ahead channels. Right now it's approximately uh, 450 feet across the gorge and we are about 500 feet above the basin below the falls. The falls is approximately 38 feet, give or take, depending on the water level. But as a kid, uh, we used to jump off both sides. All right, can we walk further from here? Yeah. This is the end. So how do you get down to the bottom part? How do you go to the bottom? I used to go right down here. Yeah, you're not supposed to climb down here, but is there a place to wait to get down there? I can go down there right now. What you do is you go down and then cut to the left. That's how we went down. It's not really that treacherous. It's a little dangerous, you don't want to fall. But you used to hang on, uh, we used to hang on to uh, trees and vines to do it. Bert said there was a rope, there really never was a rope. There might have been a rope at one point, but didn't need it. You gotta be sure and steady. You can't be an idiot here, you can't make mistakes here. You will. If, you, if you're an idiot from Johnstown or Fort Plain, where most of the people died from here. No, and nobody from, the, from this town. No one from Kanjari's ever died here. <laughs> Unless it was maybe an Indian. They must have a special class in elementary school about no, it. No, because, <laughs> no, because we were taught by our older brothers and sisters how to do it. We were taught how, we were trained how to climb. Uh -huh. We weren't retards that don't have all right. Okay, all right, all right. So, so much better. All right, so let me just film it. You know what tree stuff falling down? See it down there? Yeah. Look how high, high you see that high tree above there? That high tree, that's almost 100 feet tall, right? So that, that high tree. that's 700 feet above the base. This is a mini Grand Canyon. And the people who see this, you should see it in real life because it is spectacular and uh, fantastic. Okay, yeah, we're rolling. Okay, this is a warning for all you, um, all the idiots from Fulton Montgomery County who uh, think they can just come here, drink, and uh, go swimming. You will die here, okay? There's been many, many deaths here. I'm not saying that to disturb the public, but you have to be extremely careful. I grew up here. I was jumping off the falls when I was about about eight or nine years old. And I've jumped off this, these falls probably at, uh, 800 times, maybe. Anyway, so, you can see there's spots on the right side, or on the far side, you can jump into the middle of the falls, and on, on the left side, you can jump on the near side, you can jump as well. I'm just gonna switch over to a slightly better view. And uh, back off. All right, 
right, when you're walking down the, to the falls, um, there's a path right below the overlook. I would not take that path. What you do is you go over about 100 feet or less, 50 feet, take the back path down, and there, it's not an easy path, but uh, that's how we, uh, whenever we rode our bikes here and left our bikes here, we would uh, go down slightly left of the overlook. It's a much easier to traverse down. Um, you, to, you could die doing that, so be careful. But uh, again, when the water's running like this, you never want to go out and jump off if it's too fast. You'll slip and fall to your death. Okay, a lot of, a lot of death possibilities. I'm trying to get a zoom in shot recently. Okay. Trying to find it. Okay, what is it you were saying? If you come over here... Now, if you are stupid enough to go to the falls and come down from this level, which I don't recommend, but if you are that person, you can see right here, I gotta let be me, back from you a little bit. You're too, you're too close to me when you, because like, okay. of the 3D thing. Right. What you do is you start about approximately 100 feet upstream of the overlook, and you go down that way. There's a, uh, it's a very, very dangerous path, but it's the same exact pitch. And you go down, and you actually come out near the top of the fall. You don't, we don't want, have time you, to do that. You don't want to end up, unless you want to go down the trail and jump in the falls. No, I don't want to do that, but is there a way to get down there? Well, I'm, t I'm telling you the way. Right, so can we do that? No, we, we can't do that because um, you would certainly die. Yeah. Oh, so it's not that gentle. Because okay. you're, you're old and fat. <laughs> oh, thanks. And uh, but <laughs> I don't think the trees could take it. Thanks a lot. It's okay. At least I'm honest. But yes, if you're a smart little monkey, you can lose your way down there. But again, I recommend uh, I, re I recommend going with someone who knows what they're doing because uh, again, it's perilous, and uh, many many people have lost their lives. All right.
know one thing you notice, which I, I actually just noticed? Well, see, this is this is East Hill. Okay, so the, am I still alive? Yes, you are. Okay, I just, this I just is, want you to the East Hill, east side of the Kanjari Creek. There are thousands and thousands of maple trees. If you look, if you if you look at the video across the way. There's not one maple tree in this area. Across the creek. Well, they probably the, can't get a footing on that hill. Well, no, it's not. It has nothing to do with that. It's that maple trees grow up where maple trees live. But I'm looking across the gorge here. I noticed this for the first time. I can't see one maple tree. Not a one. And that's because. Uh, Probably soil conditions, sunlight. Also, most most probably because soil depth. The soil over there is very thin. You can see because across the way there's very few trees across the canyon. And uh, they really got a foothold on that hill right there. A maple tree can't grow in 10 inches of soil. It needs 10 feet, 20 feet to grow. So that's yeah. that's another reason. And the other trees just totally block it out. But maple trees can't grow on that side of the gorge. Okay. All right. But, but no. But look behind us. Look behind They're us. over here. There are maple trees and elm trees everywhere. So there aren't any, but they are. Right. That's okay. why Maple Ave is on the east hill of. Oh, there's Canada. another. There's another Not cliff the over there. Oh, you see, yeah, you can't even see that rock wall there. How big that fucking is. You can only see that from down below. You gotta go down and reverse and that. Oh, you right. can see it here. You can see it here. See that? That's about 350 feet of shit. Because of the trees are in the way. Maple tree in the way. The maple trees, yeah. <laughs> that's an oak that's tree. That's where I, I used to smoke marijuana. Oh, you did? Cool. Well, it's one of many. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with that, New York State. <laughs> All right. No, you, dude, people, that's your right. Right, yeah. People, that's okay. Yep. We'll film the walk back. Lift the camera up right here. Lift, lift it up as high as you can. Right there. You'll get another, another foot or two. I gotta extend it. All right. This is the real. This is the real Kanjari Gorge. People, you're looking at, wait, no, no, over here, here, come back, 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 right there. You're seeing 300 to 400 million years to make this video. Actually, that's documented in the uh, fossils, because they're that old, or older, in the shale. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty beautiful cool. place. Yeah, I told you. God made, God made a beautiful earth. He did. And the best part about it is no one on YouTube is smart enough to be there and film it. Well, it'll be on there now. Well, I know, and that's why I'll probably kill you, Johnny, because <laughs> I don't want assholes coming here. 
ever. Okay, well there are none allowed, so they, they can't get here. It's a secret paradise. <laughs> Which I definitely, I, we, I talked to Johnny, I've talked to Tom and some of my other friends. Tried to explain to them. No one actually bought it until they get here and look at it. Yeah, I was amazed yesterday. So I had to come back today with the with the setup for 3D. It's amazing. Beautiful. Every time I, I come here, and I've been here a thousand times plus, and I'm still amazed how beautiful it is. Are you, are you done recording? No, I'm recording to walk back. Okay. We don't have to talk, we can just walk, whatever you want to do. That's fine, go ahead. I try to keep it PG. Every day in the summer, I used to ride my bike up here. And uh, we'd leave our, hide our bikes and go down the cliff face and Jump in the falls. Bring beer, bring steaks, little barbecue, boom. <laughs> and hang out there all day. And no one would come. Bother you. No one. No, it's it's absolutely fantastic. It's a jewel. It's a hidden jewel. Yeah. Yeah. It's actually the, uh, I, well, I call it the uh, Eastern Mini Grand Canyon. And that you wouldn't even know if you didn't look in the trees that there was a gorge like that, looking at this from this, no. this perspective. No one knows. Canajary is an unknown factor. Eventually, this uh, people will hook into it. They'll clean up, uh, they'll, they'll take all the broken glass that idiots threw in there and uh, <sighs> make it swimmable again. The town council, who are idiots, will allow people to swim here with a guide. Maybe. And, uh, but no, they, they are morons. Well, all right, Carl, without well, we're getting into the... No, because you can't even st put your toe in the water. Well, they might be watching this video, don't Fuck forget. Fuck you, then. <laughs> how about that? You fucking idiots. Because I don't know how many Cat yeah, Harry Cat Gorge videos no, there are. No, put that in the video, please. <laughs> because you're fucking assholes. Well, then when I come next time... We, I gotta, I gotta buy a drone. There's no two ways about it. If I can't afford it, I can't really afford uh, while it. While you're at it, teach kids about guns before they buy one and kill you. <laughs> <laughs> How about that? Yeah, instead of teaching them through uh, first-person shooter games, yeah. where you respawn. Oh yeah. By the way, Kansas Area High School had a gun club in the basement. We never had a sh school shooting because kids learned about guns, and they didn't kill each other. All right, all right. Well. Yeah, because you Democrats right, well, fucking well, fuck mothers. Well, you got, hey, listen, we're making a PG video here. Yeah, well, it just went RX. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> it's embarrassing that you fucking idiots and the town council of Kanjahari have outlawed swimming here. And I and I and you know what? Thank God I don't own a gun. Oh, oh now now we're getting serious. No, I do not own a gun. <laughs> but I know people that do. <laughs> That's fine. And uh, the fact is, you people are nuts. You have a jewel, or you can't touch your toe into the water, you'd be arrested. That is the most embarrassing shit I've ever seen in my fucking life. Oh, you're too close for the 3D, it just makes me cross That is eyes. the most embarrassing <laughs> shit I've ever seen in my life. To not allow the kids that grew up here to enjoy this, this beautiful emerald of a, a place. And it makes me nauseous. And I wish you would die and let someone come up with a fucking another decision on that. It's embarrassing. Okay, Scotty, we got it. Yeah. That in it's in. You're putting it in, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> I just happen to think it's beautiful. I don't know what the solution to the swimming problem is. But it would be nice if there was a way to figure it out. I guess, but it's still beautiful and treacherous as heck. I mean, look at this. Anywhere on this path, it's 
just like hundreds of feet drop off right off the trail. This area here was definitely car um, carved out after the last uh, ice age when uh, two mile high ice melted melted and I found a soft spot to erode <laughs> and caused a gully a, a very large gully by the way but there's no soft gully so in other words this gully was caused in the last ice age surely it was between 12 and 15 thousand years ago All right. I'm okay. running out of battery juice, so let's hustle back. Well, I'm telling you what the hell's going on here. It's all good. I'm, See, gonna, all be I'm gonna be dead in about ten and minutes. The ice melted. It went down. The, it went down the stream or down the cliff, right? Yeah. I mean, it was just. It looked almost like it did today, but obviously, it all. If you notice, there's a gully there. Yep. And it all went down there. But there's a bunch of gullies along the way here. I'm talking about on, uh, on the, your left side of the, the stream bed forced that gully. That was made in the last ice age. It's a new gully. I don't know. A old new one. Yeah. You can see the lay of the land. Down here, there's another, another small gully. And also, there's two parts about a gully: how much volume of water and how how uh, how little rock there is to resist the gully. So, obviously, it's a soft spot there. And as we're coming up here. Here's the big gully. You can actually call that. We call this big gully. Well. This gully here wasn't caused by one ice age. It was caused by probably five or ten. And you can see, um, obviously, the water has to go somewhere. But you can tell by the strata and the, and the, water, and the uh, rock walls that there was massive amounts of water, trillions of gallons of water came through here to make this gully.